my name is Julie Goldstein and I'm a printmaker. I work at California State University where I teach uh, printmaking. I also teach fundamentals of 2D design and the introduction to drawing class. Um, as a printmaker, I implement different um, materials such as wood and I also combine it with fabric and oftentimes graphite. Um, my work resides in research about women in different uh, cultural and societies that uh, work together um, as a group and tend to try to break societal norms to make change. So this particular series is uh, around the type of the B-girls and they um, came out of San Francisco in 19, between 1930 and 1950 and they rebelled against society, um, really trying to uh, show their faces in, in, the, in the community as um, looking for work and really trying to combine and to balance out motherhood alongside with what it's like to be working during that time period. Um, oftentimes they weren't making enough money in their day jobs, uh, so they, this group of women decided to really go against societal norms and um, became drink solicitors where they tend to have fun um, in a time period that was very stressful for women. So they worked together, um, all of them in this series had gotten arrested, but I found the humor within the stories that came up in this research. So when I was researching more about um, you know, societal norms and um, gender inequalities, I came up across the B-Girls, which is something that's been really kind of fun to do, and now it's becoming a little bit more autobiographical in terms of my place as a woman um, in the workforce and also as an educator. Especially now with things being very challenging, um, with staying at home, working, balancing out motherhood, marriage, um, all of those things and the stories really reside um, within these groups of women. So the majority of my work is woodcut printmaking. I use, um, in this series, these are studies for what will be end up being a, a larger pieces of work. And they're carved out wood blocks um, where I really focus on uh, textures, um, space, and also storytelling where you can see I would handwrite into the pieces using my own um, script that will tell a story about that specific woman. A lot of my pieces will tell to help support the story. I'll recycle vintage found fabrics and um, also I like the, the contrast between the process of wood carving and printing um, and then in relationship to this sort of softer technique of, of stitching, oftentimes hand stitching, I do some shisiko, but I also really like to connect the dots between fabric identity, so what that woman's personality was like and then what, what would she look like if she was fabric or <laughs> turned into a quilt or something. Um, so I'm really very inspired by um, the concept of camaraderie amongst women in different societies and communities and then how that translates into contemporary um, times with women today and how we work together and um, really connect as, as a tribe.